Hey, what's up everybody? My name is Trufin at the Babbling Belgian and welcome back to Gwent Edgy Show where we talk about interesting decks to play around with. And today we're hot on the heels of another meta report from Team Elderblood. And uh, today we're going to actually be doing a meta check. We're going to be checking out one of the meta decks, which is why I'm marking this specifically as a meta check episode, uh, just to differentiate between these types of episodes and the ones where I just go all out and do some some uh, crazy homebrew deck but this one is at the top of our meta report today we're going to be delving into syndicate and more specifically this necker lined pockets deck that has been doing really really well it's at the top of our uh, meta report for a reason i'm not gonna, gonna go through each and every single card one by one as i usually do so we're gonna be heading straight to a couple of example matches to show this deck off because of course you can see the full explanation of this deck in the meta report so the link for that is in the description down below so you can check that out directly so uh the only little change that i did was uh replace um one of the cards with horse and senior just because i wanted to add just a little bit of spice of my own um, but that's basically it because the rest of the deck is literally what the uh, meta report has subscribed for us I should say prescribed for us because uh, yeah there's a lot of poison in this deck it has the golden necker it has Alyssa as well allowing us to play golden necker twice and then we can finish off with Azar Javed and the tunnel drill of course we're going going to be going like a lot in uh, with this deck and of course there's still a lot of carryover with Siri Nova and a couple of scenarios like Conjuring Scandal and Salamandra Hideout. So uh, without further ado, let's show off how powerful this deck is in our meta check. And our first opponent of the day is Imposter Nilfgaard. So what makes this deck really good is the fact, of course, since we're forced to only use Provision 9 and lower cards, uh, there's a lot of high provision cards in this deck, making every move that we make quite powerful. So, mulligan-wise, of course, you need to get rid of Roach, because we will be pulling that automatically. Um, Alyssa would be nice, but I need Golden Necker in return for that. So, could I get rid of Kalkstein? Although with Imposter, I would, should probably keep Kalkstein. So, let's get rid of the Townsfolk here. And we get Galar Blindheim, which is always a good option. So against Nilfgaard, we need to be careful with our self-poisoning, of course, because our opponent might be able to do just the same. We get Ramon Tierkanel in this deck, and we get Alba Pikeman. Alba Pikeman, that is peculiar. So these guys damage us, uh, one of our units, at the end of every turn. Um, but I think it needs to be on the melee row, unless there are multiple. Fair enough. I do have an immune unit that I want to keep immune, of course. So, what do we start with in this case? Um, I'll just build up a little bit of coin expenditure here and get Roach out of the deck as well, so at least we have two targets. And I could already poison Roach, just to see if our opponent has any poisons. This might be just a little bit of bait. While we see Roach flying around the place all because it's the animated version of the card where Roach is just glitching out. So we get a Purify and we get Madoc in this deck. Okay, is there anything fancy that we can do with Madoc to just get rid of that? I don't think we can seize or anything. We don't have Philippa in this deck. Um, so that is going to be a-okay. Um, I'm going to need one extra coin here if I want to be using um the shady vendor properly which is going to be our next card so let's go in front with a tribute and we're going with uh, even tight plunder is probably the best way to go um so with line pockets we get an extra coin for every crime card that we play um and then i think i'm gonna go for the failed experiments we can be shifting some coins around with this um, but I don't have the coins yet to do something. I guess we'll see. Let's poison Roach again uh, and just spend our final coin with that. So the failed experiment allows us to move poison from self to another unit to, uh, yeah, just poison that unit directly. We get Northern Wind on. Okay. Over there. So that means that Gallic is close to dying. I could start poisoning, but that's not going to really help out, is it? I could fist stack um, the Alba Pikeman and then 
continue from there, but that's not going to be enough. I need something on the range row, which I don't really have at the moment. I could use Vivaldi Bank, but I think Gallert might actually die with this. Um, unless I just use Kalkstein here. I'm just going to poison the pikemen. Um, there we go. There we go. And then I can poison the field experiment again like this and i'm pretty sure yeah that's gonna kill gallard bye bye gallard sad to see you go and then we get another banish there okay i'm gonna take a little gamble with vivaldi bank here um if i can get gold necker now that would be nice but i don't see that happening we do have siri here so this is gonna get shuffled around again um, we could just Siri. Yeah, Siri might be good. There we go. Let's put that down. I could get purified if they have another purify Moondust bomb. And we get just Coyote. That's fine. That's fine. Again, not much we can do. I could line pockets again. It's not that bad to use those coins early on. Um, and then Shady Vendor again. <laughs> Pay the tribute. And we get... Smuggle, I think. The rest is... Swindle is not going to be maxed out, so it's going to be Smuggle. There we go. That gets us four coins as well, and still seven points ahead. And next up, we'll be able to poison again, so we... Uh, definitely seem to be doing alright here. There we go, Filter Forts. That means that they got... Who they got? Gallert. Yeah, they got Gallert there. Okay. Um, I'm just going to morale the villager forts. There we go. Morale the villager forts and kill him in one go. That should get us the upper hand here. That's weird. That seems like it, it indicates that that was supposed to be an imposter deck, but... Okay, there we got the imposter. Poisoning Madoc. Interesting. So if I don't grab Golden Necker next turn, Alyssa is going to be basically useless. So Kalkstein itself is not going to do much, but I'll be able to use a poison with Arcane Tome next. But I'm giving them a card if I do so. But they did use the imposter leader ability now. Uh, and they have another poison if they want it. So let's just keep it like this. Okay, so we lost the first round, but not by much. Our opponent did waste even the leader ability, which is not in the slight... Ooh, and there we go. We get Golden Necker immediately. Um, well, immediately is saying much. Um, let's get rid of Fist deck. Salamandra hideout. If I now pull um, the candle, I might be boned. So I'm just going to kick Salamandra hideout as well, even though I really want to use it. Okay, is that going to be a pass? It's not, which means I'm going to Golden Necker. So that's Illusionist into... What are they going to copy? Okay, the Pikeman? Is there a is there a pikeman in my graveyard? Oh, they swapped it from their own hand. Interesting. Gold Necker is gonna... Gold Necker first. So that's Tunnel Drill. I should have also job it first. There we go. Then Eternal Fire Disciple? Yeah. And Salamander Hideout. And that's also going into... Yeah, the field experiment again. Uh, I'm gonna put this over here and then put this over here and tap the there we go eternal fire disciple and we got another illusionist meaning that the yeah those guys are gonna be pumping out some damage but with even tight plunder I should have enough coins to take out all of those uh, so I'm just gonna even tight plunder um, two just street urchins I think yeah, I have enough points with Street Urchins then, that's 8, so I can just take out the uh, the pikemen. 
There we go. And I could move poison, but I don't really need to just yet. It's fine. I can tap this again, though. I can keep the poison for carryover, even. Ooh, I should have killed those. I should have killed those. Okay. I can do Azar Javed now. Just to have the protection. Um, and then I have enough for double stone mutagens. So, Azar Javed first. I'm gonna tap the urchins just for the extra point and then I might get lucky. I'm gonna tap the street urchins. There we go. So two points ahead but we do get two points of damage incoming. Okay, Dimeridium Bomb there. That is fine. Now I'm gonna poison and damage. Yeah, so like this. Uh, damage an enemy unit and then poison an allied unit. So damage the pikemen and then poison um, the eternal fire disciple. And then I'm just going to tunnel drill the illusionist. Like that. Like that. That seems to be enough. Um, although I don't need the coins, actually. Might as well hit another illusionist here. Because I can still use Alyssa in the next round. So that's going to be an aeromancy. Leto Kingslayer into another Madoc. Fine, and then I can do... I'm just gonna do Alyssa. There we go. And put the gold necker back in the deck. And there we go, we get the boss. Forced that rather nicely. Yeah, those nine points were gonna be a little bit too much. So let's just boss there. And now we have the basically perfect final round. So we can grab golden necker with Arcane Tome. We can purify anything that we want to away. And we even get... A little bit of failed exp Ooh. So, we need to get rid of Conjure Scandal. Because that's the one that we're going to be pulling with Gold Necker. Yeah, this is what we need to keep in store. Yeah, that's fine. So, let's finish redrawing. So, I'm going to be putting Roland down first. Because he, he's going to help out a little bit. That's going to be extra coins for everything coming up. And then we get Illusionist. With another Pikeman. Yeah, I'm just going to do Arcane Tome here. So Arcane Tome is going to allow us to replay Gold Necker that we put back into the deck with Alyssa. So that's going to be... Uh, Villager. Um, poison on the Illusionist. Poison on the Illusionist. And then... That's a little bit overkill, because uh, we don't have the coins for it now, but there we go. That's a nice a nice chunk of points. I think Quirati's already gone, right? Yeah, we saw that at the beginning. So the candle is safe. Uh, we have one more card that we can play, um, and that's the uh, Necromancy, I think, yeah. So we get a bomb there on the Townsfolk. And then we get another Dimeridium Bomb, okay. Fine, should have boosted that a little bit more. Um, okay. Okay, okay, okay. So, so I'm going to be boosting Roland here, because I don't have a lot of other options. Um, like this, twice. And then I'm going to be... Poisoning um, myself. It's going to give us another two coins. And I'm going to kill the illusionist. And I can do that with just the scenario here. And I can kill the illusionist. And then just use this. Um, I can do that again. And then use Arcane Tome and play Necromancy. Necromancy into Shady Vendor, into... Oh boy, this is going a little bit too fast for my troubles. Yeah, okay. That's fine, it was the most coins, but that was not the one I should have probably taken. That is actually not too bad, although I don't have any crimes anymore, but I can use Horson to... Uh... Wait, that's not going to do anything. Yeah, that's zero points. Uh, although, 
they get the extra mad up with that, so that's fine. So that's gonna... Ooh, that actually took out the... Yeah, okay. Okay, fair enough. I'm just gonna put Horson in between so he doesn't transform anybody. Um, and then I'm gonna boost him by five. And there we go. Yeah, we definitely had the points still. Uh, we would have gotten to six coins again. So that was definitely our game. There we go. Next up, we have Monsters. Monsters is actually pretty good because uh, we can quite easily take all of those units out if we want to, especially with Tunnel Drill in the later rounds. And our opponent rarely can do anything about that. We get basically a perfect hand. I want to get rid of some of these um, locations, uh, mainly because, of course, the artifact cards are important for Gold Necker. Um, I don't want to have too many golds in hand as a start, although Vivaldi Bank and Gold Necker are fine, so I think this is good. I can definitely work with this as a start, although I don't have a good coin generation card here. I guess we'll see. So I can start with Townsfolk. Yeah, and then just tap the Tiger's Eye. There we go. Coins, coins, coins. We want those coins. And then we get the Manor's Dark Secret. So since we're forced to um, go with 9 provisions or lower, we can't actually include Kodati Heatwave into this deck. Uh, meaning that we need to always try to counteract scenarios just the way they are. Um, especially with those new powerful scenarios, we can't really counter them directly because we can't remove them. But there's plenty of other things that we can do. Um... As, for example, I'll show off right now with the, the Blindheim Brother combo. So, we get some extra coins and the Townsfolk go to 6 with that. Next up, we'll be using Roland and just uh, get that Poison Loop going. And then a Necker. That's also fine. Um, we're still in the upper hand here, so I'm just gonna put uh, a Roland right next to his brother here. Um, like that. And just poison him as well. Monsters can't do poison, so that is absolutely a safe strategy. And then we get Thrive again and the Necker Warrior. Okay, so there's plenty of units on the board now. It's high time that we start poisoning uh, them ourselves. Um, I could push with Golden Necker already, but I don't have Alyssa in hand and I need to start spending some coins first. I don't want to be using Tunnel Drill in the first round for that. Um, but what I can do is actually use Shady Fender in the back. Because uh, I can deal some damage with that. Let me try. Let's pay the tribute and then we get Stolen Mutagens. We only have two Salamander units so that's not going to work out. Although it's probably the better option. Yeah, I'm gonna deal damage with the four damage units. Um, ooh. Oh boy. Um, okay, let's poison again then. Uh, I can deal damage and then poison and get the coins. And I could have used the poison again, but that wasn't that wasn't worth it. Didn't expect to get coins there. Wait, what was the? Sir, I only have. I only have two Salamandra units. Or is that only two that that requires? Oh, it's only two. Okay, I thought it needed three. Okay, Altibolt. That is annoying. I could use Conjurer's Candle here. I think it's probably for the best that I use Golden Necker here. Because I do not have a way to spend these coins. No, even with Vivaldi Bank, I'm just gonna go Golden Necker. So that's Morale onto the Cursed Damsel, even tied Plunder into something that I can actually spend the coins with. And then this, I can use Field Experiments. Tap that, tap this, and poison this. There we go, we end up with 8 coins still. Alright, um... So now the Blindheim brothers are vulnerable, but we did play our first Golden Necker to just push this first round really hard. Okay, Maxi. That seems like a misplay to me. Oh, they're actually going all out. Interesting. 
They're going all out with this. I was gonna play Siri regardless, so I'm gonna tap Eternal Fire Disciple there. I'm gonna put down Siri. Um, and I'm gonna tag the Woodland Spirit, I suppose. With this, I really don't have a way to spend these coins. Because uh, now I get coins again, and then I could move the poison like this. There we go. There we go, we got the pulse. We got round one, which is pretty important. Now, ideally, we would get both Arcane Tome and Alyssa. But it's not guaranteed, of course. If not, we could pass, but we do have the benefit here. We get more poison, we get necromancy. Not ideal. I'm gonna get rid of Conjurer's Candle, we get Horson. I'm gonna get rid of Fist Deck, and we get Eventide Plunder. I could try to go with Tunnel Drill here. Let's see what we get with... Yeah, I can do this. Let's go with Vivaldi Bank and then Azar Javed. Um, I'm gonna be protecting Tunnel Drill here. We're gonna go vroom vroom vroom. We get our first Drowner, which is not gonna change too much. I'm gonna put down Tunnel Drill, so there's still a defender there. Um, so this is not gonna matter too much. I'm gonna just clear the board constantly. I don't think it's going to matter too much. I think we have the upper hand here. If they can't take out the tunnel drill, we will be taking out everything that they pump out. So the two drowners will be dead. I'm going to be playing Necromancy into a Shady Vendor. Um, I'm going to be putting him in the front, maybe? Uh, there's some good boosting cards in the four provision range. Um, oof. That's a bad selection of cards. Um, guessing it's the Swindle then. Swindle it is, so definitely max coins and then just take out the two Drowners. Too bad we didn't get a boosting card, so that means that one Parasite can end this all in one go. And there we go, okay, so there was no counter. That was weird, so they went through all the trouble of getting rid of those defenders, but there was no follow-up, so... There we go, that's the power of Tunnel Drill. If you can't control it, it just takes out everything. So that was already two ways you can handle a uh, your opponent, and now we're getting Imprisonment. Uh, so a little heavy on the... Hmm... Usually Imprisonment is the cultist variant these days. Uh, ooh, we get our complete Golden Necker trifecta here. So Golden Necker, Arcane Tome and Alyssa. Probably good to keep Tunnel Drill in hand here. We get plenty of poisons. I'm gonna need Kalkstein for later on, so I'm gonna keep him in hand as well. Yeah, I think we have our two options that we will need. We can purify anything cultist wise. Um, gonna get rid of that poison. Also Java, really not necessary now, Necromancy. I do, so there we go, okay. We don't have Roland, we only have Gallard. So I think we can just start slow with an even tight plunder and see what we get here. Intimidate is always nice. Because um, we do have the coins right here, uh, which I don't need to tap just yet, we just get the Brawler. So remember, Golden Necker always plays a unit first, then a special, and then an artifact. So when you play Golden Necker, especially the second time, you need to be really careful that your deck actually has those cards left. Um, so the two artifacts that you want to really play are the two that are still in the deck. So the Hideout and the Conjure Scandal. And then we get Dandelion Poet immediately. And again, we're playing Nilf cards, so self-poisoning has to happen really, really carefully. Um... If you don't keep that in mind, things might end rather difficult. And we get locked on the brawler immediately. Interesting. Um, I can replay Eventide Plunder basically if I use Shady Fender uh, in the front row. 
so that gives us the tribute to try and get even tight plunder which we don't get this time we could get some removal um or shakedown or dip in the pontar so hysteria and dip in the pontar are basically the same thing here because i can't remove the cards i could just boost something yeah that's fine uh so let's boost our bare knuckle brawler again now we get sihil okay that's another emissary, so it's a Sihil Imprisonment deck. Fine. Let's try and keep the units high enough then. Uh, as long as I don't give them a unit that is a uh, two points or lower, we should be fine. And then we get Oneromancy into Bratons as well. Holy hell. Our opponent is really pushing here. So that's Mage Infiltrator giving them plenty of targets now um i'm gonna golden necker this so i'm gonna poison this one and then golden necker in the hopes of getting candle here oh this is even better um i can do this transform them both into these guys then even tight plunder is gonna be the savvy huckster fair enough and then the Salamandria Hideout is going to give us extra poisons. Um, let's hit Bratons here. And then the Field Experiment can poison Arthurius Vigo. There we go. And I think we're still one turn away from Gellert losing his yeah, immunity. I have two Salamandria units as well, so I can actually use... Oh, I can't because he's not... Hmm... Maybe with Shady Vendor, we'll see. If I can get another um, another boosting card. Because I'm trying to block Sahil here. Okay, we get another Duchess Informant. So that means that we most likely will not be able to, yeah. Um, so there's going to be a two-point card here now. Although... Although, although, although... No, because I can't target Gallard, so he's going to get Gallard guaranteed. Uh, in which case, there's no point in me poisoning. I mean, I can still poison Artorius there. I'll get Shady Vendor going as well. Um, in the front again. Spade a tribute. We get Congregation or Slander. Or Line of Credit, but... Ooh, Line of Credit actually works. Yeah, I can destroy uh, the Salamander hideout and get seven coins. Get hit there again. Um, gonna do this, but Gallad is gonna lose his um, his immunity. So that's fine. And that we do get the pass, and we are at five cards. So that means that if we can use Siri, we might as well do that. Just for the carryover. Otherwise, it's going to be Alyssa. We get Conjury Scandal. I'm going to keep that, actually. Um, Arcane Tome. I'm going to keep that as well for now. We can get rid of the Fist Deck. Field Experiment can also stay. I'm going to keep the Purifiers as well. Might as well try and get rid of Stolen Mutagens here. And we get also Java. That's perfect. Um, we could even push if I wanted to. Um, because our opponent is down both Bratons and Artorius, so what's the game plan here then? Sail completely then? That's a bit weird, but let's get Golden Necker down. I can't use Golden Necker now though, because I still have, um, the candle in hand. Then we get Matahuri. Our opponent is basically daring me at this point. Um... I'm gonna try and see what other Javid gives me. If I can pull this off, I think I might be able to. The imprisonments are gone, so I don't have any order charges left to worry about. Uh, so I'm just gonna push for it. Because I see the Sunset Wanderers in their hand as well, so that's gonna be a sweet 13 points that I can probably poison. And this is gonna feed their Sihil though, so Sihil is gonna be up to 4 then. There we go. 
the first Sihil, taking out the first defender. And we get a Purify. Interesting. I'm gonna pass on that. Because now they need to play a card for... It's still gonna be Sihil, but there we go. Sihil going to four into the Emissary. Okay, that's just a four provision card for them. Sihil is at four, so I need to keep that in mind. But they start, so I can play this very slowly. Okay, we get Siri, we get... So I need to get rid of Conjure Scandal so I have an artifact for Gold Necker. Then what I need to do is check if I actually have still... Ooh, one unit. Multiple specials, but only one unit. Yeah, let's finish redrawing because I, I don't want to risk uh, grabbing the unit and not having a unit for uh, Gold Necker to play with. Ooh, that's annoying. Okay. Oh, and I play Sihil immediately, so Sihil is up to five now. Oof. Oof, 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 oof. So Tunnel Drill basically became a paperweight now. So Sihil is up to five. Sihil is up to five, meaning that I can... Yeah, I can use Golden Necker now. I'm gonna do Townsfolk first. Um... Reasoning for that is that I can use my leader ability to put it up to seven, for example. And then we get Art Fane Tortoise. Yeah, so they're waiting for me to use um, something five or above. I'm um, actually guaranteed to not. Although Necromancy. What's the thing that I, oh, I could resurrect the failed experiments? If I get Necromancy. Um, so, Golden Necker, Blindheim. Okay. So, Blindheim, um, Stolen Mutagens is the damage by four on the Nausicaa Sergeant. And then the five coins from the Conjure's Candle, which is going to be great because I can boost units with that. Aha. Yes, of course. Unless this now gets corrupted, but for now, we're still pretty safe. And I just need to hold off on the... Ooh. On the Sihil. So Sihil is at five. Um, so... Mage Infiltrator, Roland. And there we go, the Infiltrator. Um, and then I can poison the failed experiment. That should be fine, right? Yeah. Poison the failed experiment and then poison the art fiend tortoise. There we go. I do need to keep a, a little bit of poison for the sunset wanderers. Um, and I'm also guaranteed to get a bunch of extra coins with um, the Valdi bank. And a lot more poisons where that came from, because the necromancy is going to come in really handy for that one. Imperial Diplomacy. Must be really annoying if somebody constantly... Uh, puts your units higher than you want them to be. Okay. So that's at 2 again. I could resurrect... Yeah, I'm going to do that. So I'm going to... Resurrect... The other uh, field experiment here. So that's giving me an extra poison. Wait, I can actually spend the coins to poison that and then boost the mage infiltrator up to seven. And there's still no sihil for them. My candle is starting to become pretty big though, so I'm gonna have to take that into account. Okay. And there we got the sunset wanderers, which is also nice. Um, I have a little bit of time before I need to poison those, so I'm just gonna, um, Siri this. And that's also higher than five. Five more cards left. So they can't use Sihil as their final card, because it's basically not gonna do anything. So they're gonna be forced to use it before I use Tunnel Drill, I think. Experimental Remedy. Is there 
anything that they can use here. Okay. It's actually also fine. Uh, so now I use one line pocket charge and use the conjure scandal on the MSA, which will go to seven. And then I'm gonna poison the Sunset Wanderers. Another Imperial Diplomacy, which is not gonna be enough. And I can just keep poisoning. Maybe you should poison your own units. They can damage by four here, which would actually put a kink in my plans a little bit. It's gonna force me to play Arcane Tome a little bit earlier than I would want to. I don't think it's gonna matter. I, I've. I've postponed it enough. Yeah, there we go. I think so that I postponed the Sihil enough for uh, that to be worth it. Okay, there we go. And I think that overwhelming show of dominance shows how powerful this deck actually is. It just has the points. It has the tempo. It has the carryover. It basically has everything. It has tall removal by the abundance. And you, um, yeah, you saw the most of the combos that you can do with this uh, with this deck right in play there. So you have the poison package definitely doing really well with Roland, Gallard, and all the other poison cards like Fist Deck, and um, of course a few of the uh, cards that are hidden in here, and of course Morale. Um, then you have neck, Golden Neck itself, which you can play twice uh, using Alyssa and then the Arcane Tome. Uh, Carry over in the form of Siri Nova, and of course Conjurer's Candle. And last but definitely not least, if you use Azai Java in combination with Tunnel Drill and a couple of crimes in the final round, you uh, just obliterate your opponent with all the coins that you will be generating. And even against decks that we just saw, like Sihil, you need to be a little bit more creative, uh, but cards like Conjurer's Candle come in really handy in situations like that. So... Yeah, it's, it's just a very, very big toolbox that can handle basically anything your opponent can throw at it. And that's basically it for this uh, first official episode of Gwentech Meta Check. Um, as I said before, you can check out the Team Elderblood Meta Report in the description down below. The link is right at the top there underneath the description. Um, you can check it right over there. You can also tap the deck there, go to the Playground website and import this deck directly to your game to try it out and obliterate your own uh, opponents with this same deck because it's really, really good and a lot of fun to play around with. Uh, it does take a little bit of um, skill to pilot this correctly, but I think with the uh, tips I gave you in this video, you should be good. If you have any other tips that you want to give to your fellow players in the comment section down below, don't hesitate to do so. And uh, also don't forget to like this video because every show of support is really, really appreciated. So thank you guys enormously for watching and I hope to see you in the next episode of Gwent Edge. Goodbye and stay nutty.